All right, Mr. Sacco here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it's a one versus one on Turtle Rock between our green orc player, Grubby. And up top, we have our yellow Night Elf player, Sonic. And uh, this is the second game in a row I've casted uh, with Sonic and Grubby. And uh, both of these replays were uploaded by the same observer on the same day. So I believe these two were just... You know, just having some good times, one versus one on each other. And uh, so the first replay I casted was extremely short. Yeah, and it even says it right there um, with the observer saying last game was very short. So it was like a seven minute replay. And uh, it was actually a pretty good game. And it kind of shows you the dark side of Night Elf uh, creeping with an Ancient of War. So actually somewhat... Um, Educational, if you will. And Krubby looking for his opponent. Gonna know where he is by now. Cloak of Shadows drops for the Demon Hunter. The Cloak of Selling. And Grubby, of course, going to the Goblin Merchant. Will sell his Scroll of Town Portal by the Circle of Nobility and Dust of Appearance. A player's forces are under attack. And the Grunt chasing down that old archer. And all Grubby going after the Ogre Warrior camps, which is the usual for Grubby and Blade Masters on this map. You go after the uh, Ogre Warrior that actually contains the item. You can take it down without losing your Blade Master, of course, and uh, get that uh, item and sort of run away with it. And move on to the next one. And uh, the items are actually pretty good. You can get a Clause of Attack plus six, which is pretty much the best item you can hope for um, for the for the level three camp here. Um, there is the Gloves of Haste, which is also could potentially be equally as good. I'm not really sure if any actual true data has come out on that. The difference between the Clause of Attack plus six and a uh, Gloves of Haste. Um, just because if you had Gloves of Haste, you could actually attack faster, potentially get more crits off, and which could um, be higher than uh, the more more amounts of crits than having just one Clause of Attack plus six, which would equal more damage. But of course, Clause of Attack plus six creates higher crits. Yada yada. I'm going to stop now. But Gr Grubby getting two Clause of Attack plus six, uh, and it's only been three minutes and call it at 50 seconds into the game. So, really good for Grubby. Circle of Nobility as well, making that plus 14 damage, although that was purchased. Um, but uh, who's counting? And Archer in the middle of it all. There goes the Dust. And that's why you get Dust against Night Elf. And Demon Hunter takes out his own Archer, but um, still loses an Archer regardless. A player's forces are under attack. And lots of grunts coming out for Grubby here. And is Grubby going to go after the other Ogre Warrior camps? I think there is two more left on the map. So it could essentially get lucky and get two more Claws of Attack. That would be an interesting game for sure. Demon Hunter now going after the Giant Sea Turtle camp. And we'll finish that off. Gets another Cloak of Selling. So double the Selling. Double the Shadows. And we'll get level two. at level two and grubby gonna spot an archer and we'll start hacking away and with plus 14 damage and no just of appearance left grubby forced to give up on that and now gonna go after the ogre magi camp and has so many grunts uh, for this particular camp can be taken out with far less. Here comes the Demon Hunter now. And Grubby backing away, but probably could have just attacked the Yogurt Magi camp a few more times. Finish that off. Demon Hunter going after the weak grunt here. And now Beastmaster is out as well. Grubby doing a really good job of uh, actually microing that, but unfortunately the range of the Quill Beast, pretty hard to micro. And Sonic microing pretty well as well. And a whole bunch of as wells going on here. And another grunt goes down by Sonic. 
So making pretty good progress there. Two grunts down is uh, a fairly big blow to the grunts or to the orc overall. And now Grubby going back in. They're going to try and take out the Ogre Magi. He needs to get that level 2. Going to drop his Sav so that he can buy... Gets Ring of Regeneration and drops a Sav. The Night Elf is just going to pick that up. He's just going to like, okay, I'll take that. And uh, the Watcher Ward, of course, placed by the... By killing the Creep Camp and uh, touching the glorious Watcher Ward. And Sonic getting lucky, uh, getting a free salve, actually two free salves, and a Tome of Experience. And now there is a Hawk in the sky. The enemy cannot hide from our eyes in the sky. For all the uh, Company Heroes 2 fans, sorry my German accent isn't that great. Mein Deutscher ist very sch ist ist uh, sehr schlecht. So <laughs> there you have it, guys. Mein Deutscher ist sehr schlecht. A player's forces are under attack. And now, Potion of Invisibility, sneaky, sneaky action town is going on siege. here. Tactical espionage, Metal Gear action about to uh, be deployed. And Grubby with the Ring of Regeneration, who commented a little while ago, I think, on his stream, that he actually likes the Ring, Ring of Regeneration, which um, is kind of makes sense because he, has, he always has a Blade Master, and the Blade Master is... Of course, much easier to use uh, with a Ring of Regeneration because, you know, you can just simply sort of wind walk away or survive with just a few health, and it was because of that Ring of Regeneration. He sells the ring for now, though, which uh, I always believe is a good choice. I don't think it's that great of an item. In a straight minute of combat, you'll gain 120 health, which isn't much, but can get you out of the combat and survive with just a few health. So it's kind of one of those situations... Do you want it? Do you not? Is the is the gold better used somewhere else? Now at 23 damage on his Blade Master, and with including that uh, circle of nobility, three claws of attack. Grubby getting about as lucky as you can get, and finishes that off pretty quickly there. Demon Hunter still stalking the Blade Master here, but it's not really doing much um, eventually he can pop out and mana burn the remaining amount from the uh, blade master there actually it looks like he only has level one mana burn as he's level two so it's not going to be all that worth it he is seeing where his opponent A is though of course that is always attack. worth something but unfortunately sort of a waste of a potion of invisibility Doesn't really pay off that much and now Sonic, however, does know that his opponent is going down um, on the bottom side here. The Ogre Lord will go down quickly. And was that a Tome of Experience? I think it may have been. I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure it will be easier to see in the replay. Warsong Battle Drums now for Grubby. So that's going to be even more damage on that Blade Master. And what is it now? 25 damage on the Blade Master. Uh, drops the Circle of Nobility. Actually hands that over to the Torrent Chieftain. No, didn't sell the Ring of Regeneration. Just put it on the Torrent Chieftain. So my bad um, on that one. Uh, the Torrent now completely surrounded by little birdmen. In other words, Talons. Druids of the Talon. You guys in your... Forcing me to say the correct thing. They're little bird men. Little men that aspire to be birds via magic and cool cool cloaks, which I admit are kind of awesome. And a missed crit there, and that's exactly why evasion is actually pretty good, because that just saved that demon hunter uh, probably 150 health, um, maybe 120, not sure, but uh, with plus 25 damage like that, pretty much... An additional 50% of his damage. 
Uh, would have done a lot, although the level 1 crit doesn't do as much. Although he actually might have level 2 right now. He is a level 3 Blade Master, and uh, level 2 crit is pretty good. Of course, level 3 crit is even better, but you guys know what I mean. And Warsong Battle Drums handed off to the Tauren Chieftain. And something was sold there. Didn't see what it was. And can't remember what was in the inventory. So much easier for you guys because you're watching the replay and you can just kind of hit the back button. And you don't have to, like... You can just kind of sit back and just watch. And Giant Sea Turtle Camp goes down. Sonic Sporting... Potion of Invulnerability, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. So lots of Potion of Invulnerability um, on Sonic. So he has a lot of longevity available. So Grubby, not probably going to win this situation here. So many Druids of the Talon, and no way for Grubby to really get out of there. Loses to Blade Master, and that is definitely not good. That is a super strong Blade Master, and uh, I kind of saw that coming as soon as Grubby uh, actually started attacking. It just isn't really going to work out. The Blade Master really needs to get on the other side of these Spirit Walkers here, because if he takes another Cyclone from one of these Druids, which all look like they're fairly low on mana, he's going to get Cyclone, then surrounded, and will not have the mana to Windwalk away. And Scroll of Healing picked up by the Blade Master. And now a bunch of peons on the way. And really just a bunch of spear walkers left for Grubby. And uh, honestly not looking that great. This Blade Master is phenomenal though. But unfortunately, Broods of the Talon are uh, pretty strong against uh, sp specifically uh, Orc. And 154 damage crit there. So you can see how much it would have done at uh, level 3 crit and with a higher level in damage. It would have been just tremendous. And now Grubby's definitely on the losing end of this. Not really making much. Has a, a decent amount of gold, but... Uh, so that's going to be it. So I think that was essentially game two of Grubby and Sonic. Uh, not, I don't believe that's any kind of tournament or anything like that. I think they just probably just saw each other and were like, hey, let's just... Uh, Let's, let's go at it um, and make a custom game so we can have an observer in there. And uh, so there were, I think there were two observers in that game. There was only one in the last game. And uh, both of these were up, um, uploaded by Anxiety, the observer. And uh, so the first one was extremely short. But this game was all right as well. A uh, little disappointed. I wanted the game to go on a little bit longer. I wanted Grubby to have even more damage. And I don't mean to say that I was rooting for Grubby over Sonic, but I really like it when a hero gets overpowered. It's just kind of funny. Um, and the RNG is something you don't see that often, getting three uh, claws of attack like that in such an early game. And that game, I think, was only 1336 overall. So he essentially got those first three in the first, I think, like maybe eight minutes of the game. So that was pretty impressive. And if the game would have gone on longer and more creeps would have been killed, um, who knows what the Blade Master would have been doing in the end of the game. But uh, well played by Sonic. Well played by Grubby as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.